What's going on guys? You're watching another episode of Field Test. So I reviewed the tracks, I reviewed both the Hoyts, I reviewed the Elite Ritual, and I feel like I'd be leaving out PSC if I didn't review the Evolve 31 and the 35. But before I get into this review, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Adventures Archery. They're a small mom and pop shop uh, here in Tampa and Lakeland, Florida, where I'm from. Um, this is their shop that they let me film in, and this is all their product that they let me review to entertain you guys and get you guys caught up to speed on what's popping. But now that all that's done, let's get into this review. So in my hand, I am holding the Evolve 31. Now let me give you a little backstory with me and PSC. I have always hated and despised PSC. Um, I've always thought their bows have been very loud, very slow-ish depending on the model, a lot of hand shock, very uncomfortable. I don't like the way they engineer them because instead of using one solid spacer in between their cams and their limbs, they use multiple. Um, and I thought it was just poor quality. And usually every year when PSC comes out with a new bow, I just kind of pass over it because I found that it's always been the same thing in the past that I never really liked. Well, this year my mind changed about it, okay? So me and Adventures Archery, we were at an expo. Um, their sales rep, uh, David from PSC, was there. And I went up to him and I said, David, teach me how to sell this bow. I don't know how to sell this bow. I got a bunch of them. I need some help. And he asked me, well, have you shot it? I said, no, I haven't. I'll be honest, I don't really like you guys. Um, so I just kind of skip over it. He goes, well, just give it a shot. And so he gave it to me. And the first shot, I was thoroughly impressed with it. Um, I spent a good 30 minutes with it, shooting it, uh, pulling it back a lot, letting it down, just looking at it, how it was built, having other people shoot it. That way I could hear it better. Um, and I think... Eve PSC blew it out of the ballpark with this guy okay um, but I'll get into my opinion a little bit later but let's get into some stats so the actual axle is 31 inches your brace height is six and one inch quarter um, they have this guy in 31 inches and also 35 inches uh, your IBO rating is a hundred or 333 ish feet per second uh, RTS, you're looking about 300 feet per second, depending on your draw length, arrow, and poundage that you shoot. Um, but all in one cam, you can get all the way down to 24 and a half inches, all the way to 30 inch draw length. And then in the limbs, you can get uh, 50 pound limbs, 60 pound limbs, 65 and 70 pound limbs in 10 pound increments. Um, also, as far as colors go, you have the Cryptek that I'm holding right now. You have a mossy oak, you have a black, and then you have a charcoal. And the bow weighs a good 4.3 pounds. So it weighs just as much as the Triax and the Hyperforce and the Elite. So it's not too heavy at all. But now that I have gotten all that out of the way, here's my review. So I told you my backstory with the Elite that I don't really like them. Um, but after shooting this guy, I couldn't believe how well elite built this bow and they blew it out of the ballpark okay i shot this guy and it was just so smooth you know you have these big aggressive looking cams and some people may think just looking at it, it's going to pull just like a triax or a halon how you know it's big and aggressive and that first initial pull may be a backbreaker to you um, but it's really not they're big mean cool looking aggressive but they're just as sweet as a puppy dog like an elite cam they so silky smooth when you're pulling it back at 70 pounds it's a walk in the park and then not to mention you have 90 percent let off on this guy and psc has marketed 90 percent let off bows for a few years now but they've always been super slow grandma speeds and nobody really likes that but with this guy you have 90 percent let off 
31 inches axle to axle with a six and a quarter inch brace height and you're doing 330 feet per second IBO. You're keeping up with with Elite, with Triax, with the Triax, with Hoyt, and it's half the effort to pull back the bow and hold it back, okay? Now granted, 290 feet per second real real time speed, you know, that'll kill anything and that's pretty much what the the Triax and the Hyperforce and the Ritual and the Redworks is doing now. But this guy, you can hold it back for minutes. And that's what a hunter needs. If you have any hunter's luck, that elk, that hog, that whitetail, that mule deer, whatever you're hunting is going to go behind that one bush in the whole field or that one tree in the whole forest. And they're just going to sit there for 30 seconds, minute, two minutes. And you have to hold that bow back. You can't be sitting there pulling this guy back and forth. One, that's too much energy you're using. Two, that's too much noise you're going to make. And three, that's too much movement you're going to make that's not needed. So if you pull this guy back and hold it there and that animal walks behind something, you can hold it for a solid two minutes and no problem and feel effortlessly holding it back. It's so crazy. Um, just one thing I don't like about it is the grip. Um, PSC has always had a small narrow aluminum grip I don't like it if I own this bow I would be putting some batting tape around it some tennis tape something to beef it up and something that's not aluminum it needs some rubber on it and it needs to be beefed up a little bit in my opinion but it doesn't really come with a whole lot of dampening and it really doesn't need a whole lot of dampening as you can see you have a limb dampener at the top and the bottom you have three dampening pills right here um, and you have your string suppressor and that's it. Now if you throw on an Axion stabilizer or Trophy Ridge stabilizer, you're going to dampen that sound a lot, take out some of that hand shock that really isn't there but you can kind of feel it, um, shoot a heavy arrow and it's almost dead in the hand completely. And I'm just really thoroughly impressed. I definitely recommend shooting this bow. Um, definitely put this on the list to shoot if you're in the market for a 2018 bow. Um, but that is pretty much it guys it's short sweet to the point um, if you guys enjoyed this video please like it um, if you have anything you'd like to see any suggestions for me leave it in the comments below I try and reach to you guys all but I have a full-time job um, and it's hard that I can't always get to you guys but I read the comments and I see it so just keep them coming I appreciate the love but that is it guys join the chase